American developmental actions is the theme that we are going to discuss today in the chapter of our diplomatic interviews with the United States Embassy Public Affairs Officer, Marion Wallace. Welcome, Marion Wallace. Thanks for coming to Al Watania TV today. You are very welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, um, Marion, what are the biggest American actions of development so far in Mauritania that you are leading? Uh, well, just first of all, thank you so much for inviting me today. I'm so thrilled to be here at Al Watania TV. Um, just, you know, we, we basically have been, the United States Embassy has been here since uh, the early 1960s, uh, right around when, uh, the, when Mauritania declared independence. And we've been involved in a host of activities since then, um, spanning, you know, cultural, uh, language, educational, but also sort of small self-help development type projects. So not only uh, my section, which is the public affairs section, we support, you know, both cultural but also media activities as well, but we do have other offices that look at more of the developmental side, whether that's working in, you know, food and nutrition or family planning or health activities. So we're really involved in, in a wide range of activities. So regarding culture and academic actions, what are the biggest projects there that you are proposing to Mauritanians, whether at the official or popular level, mm -hmm. please? Um, that's a great question. We're very busy on the educational and cultural level. Um, from an educational perspective, we host um, the Fulbright program, which uh, I'm sure a lot of Mauritanians have heard about. but. The uh, U.S. government basically sponsors um, Mauritanian students to go for a year or two years to the U.S. to an American university to either do research or a specific program of study. Um, and that's something that my office does work with uh, students to help apply for. But we also promote a lot of English language activities. So we have a really fantastic program called the English Access Microscholarship Program in which we actually sponsor a number of kind of middle to high school students and the ages of 13 through 19 to study for two years English here in, in Nouakchott. Um, and it gives them the ability to, to function in English really well, but also get a sense of what American culture is like. And you know, those are just a couple of the things we do. And what about media project uh, and how um, <coughs> they could be accessed at the level of the embassy? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, media, we, um, you know, my office is basically the, the one that works as an intermediary between the embassy and the media, local media, and we try as best as we can to support a lot of the development, development that we see here. And, and one of the things I noticed coming here was how um, free the media is here. There's a lot of effort going into that. We see a lot of people who are really kind of ramping up their efforts in the media. and. One of the things that we try to do is you know, provide training as, as much as we can. So we bring in American journalists or American media managers to come to Mauritania to try to give some of their expertise to Mauritanian journalists. How do you look at um, this new revolution of multimedia liberation, they call it liberation of multimedia sector and private TV and private mm -hmm. radios for the first time in Mauritania. Uh, in addition to the website revolution that is updated from minute to minute and mm -hmm. hour to the hour with all kind of diversity and all kind of editorial opinions, uh, even Arabic, sometimes you have seen even certain audacity in Arabic that even doesn't exist in French. Mm -hmm. How do you capitalize on that? You know, I think what's really interesting is that the, the change that we're seeing, and even the change that I have seen in the year and a half that I've been here, um, it speaks a lot to how quickly things are changing in Mauritania and to the sort of dynamism and enthusiasm, I think, that you see in the press in Mauritania. And, you know, we really applaud the Mauritanians for, you know, taking those steps and, you know, you're seeing this huge shift to online, you're seeing this shift towards private televisions. These are all really big steps and, you know, it's going very, very quickly and it means that, you know, Mauritanians are asking for assistance to, to continue going in that path and those are things that we do try to support and I think that that, it says a lot about Mauritanian society and what they're, what they're wanting, what they're, you know, the things that they're seeing that they want that are different from before and I think it's really fascinating and it's something that is only going to continue to grow over the next years. So that's a whole, uh, I would call it um, 
culture of diplomacy or uh, I don't know a culture of freedom and um, it's a whole a long way to go uh, regarding the media again uh, mm -hmm. how do you look at um, the project of Alwatani TV the first Mauritanian TV to present news presented in English by Mauritanians to the Mauritanians for the first time in the history of the media mm -hmm. in I think Mauritania you know, I think it's absolutely fantastic when I heard from uh, from some contacts that there was an English, you know, program on a on a, a TV station. I was really kind of blown away. Um, I think it's, it's such a huge leap to take. I think it's fantastic because it is a little bit of a smaller um, kind of audience right now. But as I have seen in the year and a half since I've been here, the demand for English is huge. More and more people are really trying to focus on it, and I think having something like that, a, you know, an actual medium providing English to Mauritanians is fantastic, and it's a, such a great first step. Okay, getting back to the Mauritanian aid uh, in Mauritania, it's not that big as the United States. Why? You know, it's something that we, we do kind of fill in where we can. Um, we are a slightly smaller embassy here as well, but we do have actually a lot of um, assistance that goes to other donors. So while it may not seem specifically, you know, U.S. Embassy, we are constantly working with the U.N., the World Bank, all of those very important donors that actually are very present here as well. So it's something where we work not just bilaterally, but also kind of multilaterally. Uh, is it possible to, to see uh, the coming back of the American Cultural Center in Waukshot, um, uh, American U.S. aid institutions and other developmental uh, organizations like, for example, Peace Corps and others mm -hmm. back home, to the mm -hmm. second home at least? Um, well, you know, in terms of a cultural center, you know, we don't have a full-fledged cultural center, but we do actually have um, a couple of things called American Corners. Um, one is actually at the English department at the University of Nuakshad, and then we have another one at Izeri, the High Institute for uh, Islamic Studies and Research. And those are actually locations th where we, we, the U.S. Embassy, provides both books um, but other resources for people who want to learn English. Um, but can also learn about the United States in general. And what we do is we facilitate having American speakers come to those locations to give talks about the United States or policy issues, or if we have returned Fulbrighters, Mauritanians who've come back, they come and can give talks. We show movies there, we do um, education advising about studying in the United States, and those are both quite active. So I would highly recommend that anyone who is looking for those types of opportunities to discuss you know there those centers are open and we would highly highly encourage you know students not just students anyone who wants to practice English um, and just get some of that resource we would highly encourage them to go there all of Mauritania English community are welcome there what about the alumni and how mm -hmm. people whether they are uh, students or professors could can benefit from that at least in terms of enhancing their English skills mm -hmm. the in terms of alumni yeah well we do try not all of our alumni speak English but some of them do particularly Fulbrighters and one of the things we really are working on is getting those alumni to come back and really help out in the English kind of English domain, whether that's teaching a little bit or, you know, doing group discussion type things in English. And, uh, you know, I really, really see such a huge thirst for English. And so we're, we're working to get some systems in place to help people get access to that. Okay, now my last question would be maybe two questions in one, Please. because uh, we are running out of time uh, mm -hmm. according to the gallery there. Um, my last question, what is the biggest, most important thing you want people to know about your work? And what is the best thing that you have seen in Mauritania so far? Oof, both tough questions. Um, I would say in terms of, you know, the most important thing, I think that we are a small mission, but we're very, very active. And we really, truly um, believe in sort of building, you know, mutual understanding and cooperation with, with Mauritanians. And one of the things we believe in is really having an open dialogue with Mauritanians. And in as much as, you know, uh, for instance, I can help Mauritanians better understand the United States, so too can they help me understand Mauritania. And that's something that, as a conversation, is always open, and we always want to have that. A big PR story open there. Thank you so much for that great opening.
Thank you so much for watching Al Wataniya. We have invited United States Embassy Public Affairs Officer Marion Wallace for all of the developmental action of the American United States in Mauritania. Thank you so much for watching Al Wataniya TV. For more, keep watching alwataniya.mr.